Generation 1 Transformer Review, Decepticon Brawl. Before we get into the review of the actual action figure itself, let's take a look at Brawl's tech spec. Function, ground assault. Quote, I was born to be wild. Brawl is noisy and irritates all that are nearby him. He has a hair-trigger temper and is blusteringly belligerent, which makes him a terrifyingly effective warrior. Brawl is enormously strong and resistant to most conventional artillery. As a tank, he can travel at 45 miles per hour over a range of 600 miles. Brawl has a turret-mounted gun that shoots 200 pounds of TNT-equivalent shells, and he has a twin sonic cannon that shoots powerful, ear-splitting 300 decibel bursts of concentrated sound energy in stereo. In robot mode, he has a 10 megawatt electron gun. Brawl combines with his fellow Combaticons to form Bruticus. Brawl is rated an 8 in strength, a 2 in intelligence, a 4 in speed, a 9 in endurance, a 5 in rank, a 9 in courage, an 8 in firepower, and a 7 in skill. This gives Brawl an overall rating of 6.5. Okay, now it's time for the Generation 1 review of the Decepticon Combaticon Brawl. Before we get started on the action figure itself, let's take a look at what you get when you purchase a Generation 1 Brawl. First, you get this twin cannon that goes on the back of Brawl when he's in tank mode. And it does have articulation. It swivels up and down. And you get Brawl's laser pistol for when he's in robot mode. And you'll see that this actually can slide into here and form another gun. I've seen that done before. It's not officially recommended, but it's kind of cool. Okay, let's bring Brawl out. And here he is. Now the first thing you're going to notice that I've done is I placed his chest stickers here instead of under here because I think it looks better. Um, you know me, I'm a, I love my Generation 1 characters, however, I'm willing to make changes to them when I think something aesthetically is going to make it look better and more like the cartoon. If you've watched my Starscream review, you saw that I replaced his gray cockpit with a yellow one from a Generation 1 Thundercracker and it made Starscream look a hundred times better. Well, this is just a small thing with the stickers, but I think it makes Brawl look better. And then his Decepticon logos moved up just a hair here. Okay, this is Brawl. You see he has articulation in his arms. They move up and down. Legs don't have much. They can move back. That's about it. You see his face does look like Brawl from the Generation 1 cartoon. This gun kind of sticks up the barrel too much in the back for my liking, but it's just something small. See stickers on his bottom legs. You see the Decepticon logo there on the back. If you look on the back, you see his Decepticon rub symbol on the turret, which is his back. And that is Generation 1 Brawl. We're going to put his gun in his hand and see how that looks. Fits nicely in either left or right hand. You can have him stick it up, down, to the, can't really go to the side, but it does have movement. If you look at the back of the turret, that's where you can read the uh, Hasbro and Takara markings. It's kind of tough to see it though without light. Okay, so let's bring him down and we'll come in close for the 360 view. And you see Generation 1 Combaticon Brawl. You know he does form the leg of Bruticus, however that is a separate review. That's Brawl from the side, from the back, he stands very nicely. It's a heavy piece too, I really like that. Very well made toy, I think he looks fantastic also. Looks great in robot mode. Okay, now to put Brawl into tank mode. You're going to take off his gun. You're going to slide his arms so that they match his chest. Lift up his turret in the back so that you can put his feet down and legs behind him. Bring his arms back and you're going to slide those into place. 
and we want to make sure we get a nice good clean fit in there bring the tank turret down snap those in those legs and those arms and there you have it looks awesome look at this guy the turret moves the gun barrel doesn't really move much just a little bit up and down but this is a fine tank he is really cool I mean he's almost as nice as Blitzwing is in tank form and Blitzwing was a triple changer this guy's just a combiner way better than Warpath from the Autobots as far as a tank goes and you see he has really nice stickers now on the front much better than underneath here I think they look better here leave me a comment let me know what you think you might disagree but I think it looks better now I'm gonna just give you a quick shot here of what he looks like without the other accessories on and I think he looks fine just like this and he does roll a little bit he has four little wheels there and he can roll actually pretty nicely considering they're just four little plastic wheels now to complete the actual official transformation you're going to put on this twin cannon on the back and like I said if you want you could put this here and he has an extra long gun and that looks really cool but we're not gonna put that there because that's technically not the official way but look at this guy that's really neat you can turn it move this very interactive very fun to play with just a fine looking G1 transformer well made this guy's held up over the years he was issued in 1986 and just very awesome and the Combaticons were re-released a, a, a number of times but they were never released in this same nice color look at this green that nice army green from the 80s and um, they were never released in the same colors or the same make with the same die cast metal on some of the pieces on the Combaticons just the original Combaticons from the first release of the toy are by far the best. Okay, I'm going to come in here and give you the 360 view. And you see Brawl and Tank Mode from the front, from the side, from the back, from the other side, and then back to the front. And I'm going to turn that turret a little bit to give him some style. And I'm going to come in here and go in for the zoom as I thank you for watching my review of the Generation 1 Combaticon Brawl. Please stay tuned though so you can watch my final thoughts and hear the pros and the cons that I gave to Generation 1 Brawl. Okay, it's time for the final thoughts on the Generation 1 Brawl toy. As far as pros go, I'd like to start off by saying that Brawl looks like his Generation 1 cartoon counterpart. Anytime you have a toy that looks like its cartoon counterpart, it makes the toy a lot more fun to play with. Brawl is definitely one of those toys. I also think that Brawl is fantastic looking in tank mode. He looks really good. Considering he's only a combiner and rather small, he looks really nice. He is comparable, not quite as good, but comparable to Blitzwing in tank form. He really blows the Autobot uh, Warpath out of the water as far as tank transformer toy goes he looks good as a tank um, I also like that brawl is very well built and heavy you don't feel like you're gonna break him when you transform him and it's and he just feels like a very heavy material I like that a lot he's not a delicate transformer and you don't want that from a tank you want a transformer that can take a beating and brawls toy is one of those and I really like his nice military green color scheme as you could see this was the original 1986 brawl that I reviewed, not a reissue. They did reissue um, the uh, the um, Combaticons brawl of Bruticus, whatever. They reissued them a number of times, changing the colors, the materials, and they just never looked the same. This one that I that I reviewed, my uh, Generation One brawl, is an original 1986, and he looks superb. That green color looks awesome. Finally, as far as the cons go, um, I really don't have many for Generation One brawl. I think he's an awesome toy. The only complaint I would say is that when he's in robot form, the gun barrel sticks kind of high out from behind his head, a little too high up for my liking. However, 
I don't really display them often in robot form anyway. Usually it's either in tank form or as Bruticus. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my review on the Generation 1 Brawl action figure. Please subscribe to my channel or pass on the word to my of my channel to your fellow Generation 1 Transformer fans. This site can be a great resource for a lot of people, and I put a lot of effort into it, so I really, really appreciate any support I get from you guys, especially subscription, but even um, friend ads or comments, any kind of... Uh, Feedback I get from you makes me want to keep making videos. Thank you.